This conference will now be recorded. Hi, welcome back uh, to our channel Oracle Ride. So today is uh, the seventh session of uh, my quick knowledge upgrade series, which is based on Oracle Database 19C. So today I will discuss about uh, changes in default SGA permission for Oracle Database because we know that uh, starting from Oracle database release 12.201 uh, uh, by default the permission to read and write to the SGA are limited to the Oracle software installation uh, owner uh, because earlier releases both the Oracle installation owner account and members of the OS uh, DBA group had access to uh, shared uh, memory <clears throat> okay uh, so if we see that ID O R A C L Oracle, so Oracle is is the uh, uh, user and uh, it belongs to uh, these groups. Okay, uh, so the change from 12.2 and later releases to restrict access by default to the Oracle installation owner account only actually. So this change may prevent DBA who do not have access to the Oracle installation owner account from administering the database so <clears throat> so the oracle there is a one parameter uh, which is responsible uh, for that and that parameter is allow underscore group underscore access underscore sga uh, basically this is the parameter so just uh, come out there and see that so this parameter has basically false value and by default it is false uh, it is uh, not modifiable it is not modifiable in uh, in a pdb the range of value is uh, true or false uh, and the default value is false which means that oracle shared memory is created with owner access only okay so uh, in prior release uh, uh, database shared memory was created with owner and group access so now uh, with the, when this parameter is set true, database shared memory is created with owner and group access. So this behavior grants permissions to DBAs manage shared memory outside the database, but also um, uh, allow uh, DBAs to read and write to shared memory, which may not be uh, described for certain installation. Okay, so uh, so this group access uh, to the SGA is removed by default. Uh, and uh, if this parameter is uh, uh, true, then uh, yeah, then uh, a group uh, group member will can do that. So Oracle is uh, strongly recommend that you accept the default permission that limit access to the SGA to the Oracle user account. Okay. So so this is uh, the important thing uh, which I thought uh, should be uh, should be shared uh, with you. So thank you. This is uh, today's uh, uh, information from my side and uh, I hope uh, you are uh, getting uh, some informative uh, information from uh, Oracle database from my series. So thanks for joining and watching uh, my series and please do subscribe, like and comment so that uh, I can record more session and those people who didn't subscribe till now they can subscribe to join our community and see our premium content so thanks again for being here and happy learning